Hey there, golfers. I'm Drew Mahold of Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Thomas Campbell, a master club fitter at Second Swing. It's a beautiful fall day. Uh, we don't have a ton of wind out here, which is a little bit uh, different than some of our past shoots out here. But uh, beautiful fall day to take a look at two new irons from Callaway for 2021. Callaway Apex MB and the Callaway X Forged CB. So, and I know Thomas, you've been playing the previous model of both versions of these as a kind of a combo set in your bag. So I know you're pretty excited about this one. And having been very familiar with Callaway irons, what do you expect from this? Yeah, I have played the X Forged and the Apex MB um, 18 models. Um, very, I've done a combo set for four iron, five iron, six iron with the X Forged, and then seven through okay. wedge with the MB. So I'm very excited to test the the looks and the feel between each each one of them here as well. Um, initial impression, what I'm seeing here with the Apex MB is, is a little sl slightly sleek, sleeker look. Looking down at it, a little less rounded maybe versus kind of the 18 model. Yeah maybe a slightly thinner top line there, there as well, slightly more compact. But um, I'm very excited to, to test both models out uh, and kind of see how they compare versus, you know, my current clubs yeah. and also compare against each other as well. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they've added a couple new features in here, some, some weighting differences, maybe some uh, fitting components there as well. So we'll touch on those a little bit. But these irons are available to pre-order October 22nd, and they'll be in the Second Swing stores October 29th. So those are the dates to look forward to if you're interested in one of these two sets. Um, in the meantime, Thomas, let's, uh, I want to see you hit some shots here. All right, sounds good. Okay, Thomas, looks like we're going to start with the Callaway X-Forged CB here. Um, just before even hitting, what does that look like at address? Yeah, it looks the very similar kind of coloring and like that satin finish yep. than the last model's X-Forged look like. Yep. Uh, so it's not completely shiny or anything yeah. like that. It's just got a little subtle satin look to it as well. Um, I have taken a quick look at the MB and the CB before I've hit any here. Um, it looks like it's got a little bit more offset. Yeah. Just kind of looking looking down at it. So it's kind of more in that player's cavity kind of, kind of, kind of looks. Not a full-on blade or anything like that. Yeah. It's got a little bit of forgiveness there, but yeah, just kind of like a good solid cavity back iron. Yep. Absolutely. Well, let's yep. hit some shots here and see what it's got. Sounds good. Well, Thomas, that was five shots. Callaway. X Forged CB. Uh, one of the things you said right away was that soft feel. Uh, you know, that carbon steel kind of forged uh, construction. You can definitely tell, probably feels like a forged iron, I'm sure, right? Uh, and then one thing too to note, you know, that, that uh, MIM weighting kind of in there with tungsten on, I think, the toe and heel as well. So it stabilizes it and it's, it play, has a forgiveness of something that's maybe not a player's cavity iron. So um, what did you think about those shots there? Yeah, no, it. It felt exceptionally soft, yeah. like really, really soft. Like, um, kind of expect the the feel I'd feel out of a kind of out of a blade, mm -hmm. but just knowing this is a little more kind of like a cavity back look there as well. Uh, I had five shots originally there. I think I had three shots that drew a little bit more. Yep. And then a couple that didn't quite draw as much, um, but the forgiveness level was still there. With, you know, out of what I'd expect out of a cavity back versus maybe more of a, a blade type kind of iron mm -hmm. there. Um, if, I mean, it looks and feels incredible. Uh, really, really good golf club. Yeah, yeah. I, that, that's, I mean, it looks, and I know you're very excited about, you know, getting to test these out, having played, you know, the previous Apex MB and the uh, previous X Forged. So uh, I know you're really looking forward to it and it sounds like, you know, good reviews so far uh, out of the X Forged CB. So, why don't we go into the blade now, the, okay. so the 2021 Apex MB, and see how that compares and see how that uh, tests out in TrackMan. So Thomas, you've got the Apex MB in hand. Uh, after having just hit the x Forge CB, do you notice anything different in the looks at address? Yeah, two things that really kind of popped out to me right away is Apex MB, the, the new 2021 model, um, looks a little square, so it's not quite as rounded. Okay. A little more square and definitely more compact look, and then this uh, this top line. This top line is uh, 
very impressive to look down at. It's it's definitely a players club. That's yeah. kind of yeah, put it put it that way there. Very skinny. I, yeah, very very skinny. I I know the well, I'm, I've played the Apex MB myself, the last year's model and last generation model, and uh, this looks a little sleeker. Mm -hmm. Definitely looks a little sleeker. Okay. Well, yeah. so now with the sleeker look, should we maybe expect you know that's going to work into the add into the workability. Um, able to control the flight a little bit, uh, so you know, and of course, as someone like you that likes to do that a little bit, you know, that's a club that's going to work for your game, right? Yeah, absolutely, workability and just getting out of the club what you expect to get out of the golf club there yeah. as well. Probably not going to be you know as forgiving on, on miss hits, but you you're going to get rewarded for the shots you hit well. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Let's see what it has, huh? Okay. All right, well, Thomas, that was five with the, the 2021 Apex MB7 iron. Um, first of all, did you notice a difference in the feel? We talked about the look before the shots. Did you notice a difference in the feel from the X-Forge CB? It felt more, I mean, difference in feel, yes, I could. Um, with the X-Forge CB, it just felt soft off the, off, the, off the face. Yeah. When I hit this one well, it felt like it was just really solid. It just felt like really? it was crisp and really, really solid. I think that might be a little more kind of turf interaction piece with a little more of a, a blade type feel sure. versus more of a cavity feel there as, as well between the two of them. Um, you can definitely notice a difference in look. My preference for a seven iron in the bag would probably be more of the, the, the MB yeah. from kind of just the aesthetics look a uh, little thinner top line, a little more comp compact club. Now I'm going to get a little more out of it. Yeah. What I'm trying to achieve with my golf swing. Um, but I mean, they both you know, feel wise very, very soft on the face. I just feel like a little crisper with the Apex MB. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. And I mean, looking at the numbers, the, they're very comparable through five shots each right now. Okay. So uh, you're carrying it about 181 to about 188 or so, 189 total distance on average with both. Yep. You know the ball speed is nearly identical. Uh, your your spin rate is nearly identical at 63. So uh, they're performing really well, and they're, they're performing like a player's iron. Both of them are. So um, and then at that point, we're talking about you know there's a one degree loft difference, correct? See the apex MB is a little bit weaker. Yep. Uh, and then your dispersion, I think. So you mentioned with the X4 CB that you had maybe three that drew a little bit more, two that kind of stayed out, and it was sort of the same pattern with the apex MB. So. Okay. Uh, very comparable so far, anyway, in this. Yeah, it's interesting that they're comparable considering you mentioned loft difference, so yeah. 34 versus 33 degrees of loft. So I definitely want to hit five more with each one, see if there's a little yeah. bit more of separation. I may expect three or four yards yeah. overall kind of difference with the, the loft being one degree stronger with the Apex. Mm -hmm. um, sorry, sorry, with the X Forged CB versus yeah. the Apex MB. Um, but and might come down to the fact that I just prefer hitting blades. Yeah. I just pull well, the meter. Well, and that's solid. you know one thing that we should note too is golfers. It is a lot about you know what golfers like to look at. You know, you're comfortable playing blades, and that's what you've looked at for a while, and that's what you prefer. You know, and sometimes a player's cavity. I kind of like the player's cavity category, and that's so it's partly because I've played that category for so long, but also I just like to look at that, and it gives me confidence. So that's part of this that goes into it too. So. Um, but what you said about hitting more shots, let's do that and uh, we'll see if this data changes at all. Sounds good. Now, I think Thomas, one thing that we noted was, I think it was your second to last shot there. You hit, you said you hit off the toe um, and kind of left it out to the right. Uh, so we'll take a look at that one because we wanted to note the, the numbers in terms of the forgiveness, right? See yep. how forgiving it was, you missed the center of the face. And uh, that ninth shot, you know, still carried over 180, which is kind of the sort of the trend the with trend. the iron so far and you know yep. total distance over 190 the spin also maintained you know over 6,000 so 
All that changed really in that one seems to be just the, the club face was open. It's almost as if you hit it in the center of the face, but it was just a little bit open club face. Just, just a little user error there. Yeah. Yeah, I think there was like three, maybe three shots with this club where I left the face a little open and stayed to the right. The mm -hmm. other seven kind of drew a little bit and went to the left. The other seven are very close to each other out there. Yep. You do have three kind of right and a little bit short just because that face is open. Yep. But um, yeah, I mean, you're in terms of the numbers after 10 shots with the X Forge CB, looking at about 6257 spin, uh, about you know a carry of 183, total 191. So I mean, these are it's a little bit further than maybe your your gamer seven iron, but there is a difference in the loft there yeah. as well. To That's consider. because there is one degree uh, less loft, and so. it's going three to four yards further. Yeah, kind of so. what I would expect. I'm yeah. pretty much a 180 carry guy yep. with my seven iron. Mm -hmm. So 183. So makes complete sense there you go yeah. <laughs> yeah. absolutely well yeah. we got the apex mb to hit five more here and then okay. we'll uh, really look into this data sounds good One thing we should mention, Thomas, the Apex MB is that screw in the back of the club there. That's uh, new for the Apex blades from Callaway. That, I don't think that's been in previous models. Uh, they're for swing weighting, right? And to kind of maintain that center of gravity there too if you're adjusting your swing weight. Exactly, they're, to, they're for swing weight changes without sacrificing moving the center of gravity on yeah. the golf club. Yeah, so, so it's kind of a nice yeah. little advancement there to you know, a, a fine tuning and maybe fitting your game as well. That, um, seems to be, of course, you know, club fitting, second swing, you know, we all know about club fitting, but yep. it seems like, you know, the clubs are adding more and more features to do that. So another ad there for Callaway with the Apex MB. But looking at these, this data, the numbers here, Thomas, I think, again, similar to the X4 CB, we had that shot number nine where maybe a slight miss hit. I think you mentioned that your club speed jumped up a little bit. And maybe, as you said, the swing was maybe out of sync a little. So that could be one miss hit, and the carry distance did drop a little bit, just to 175, which is you know about five-ish yards of difference. But noting yep. the forgiveness, maybe dropped a tad compared to the X Forged CB. Yeah, compared you know compared to the X Forged CB, yeah, the level of forgiveness dropped just just a touch. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, my swing was a little, little out of sync on that on that knife swing. I did seem like it went after a little harder and got a little chunky. Uh, a little chunky and then off the toe, but yeah, it you know still 175. I I, I know I made a bad swing. I'm right. gonna get punished for for that there too. But it wasn't like I was, you know, way 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 off or anything yeah. like that. It was five yards. Well, yeah. and that's you know I mean yeah. if you're hitting a blade and you miss hit it and hit it five yards shorter than usual, that's a good miss, you know. Yep. And so that's it's not like we're knocking the forgiveness. It's just maybe compared to the CB, maybe not quite as much, but. That was still a really good performance for a miss mm -hmm. hit there. So we're gonna talk about those other four shots that I hit coming back there. Everything just felt pure, yeah, like nice yeah. and crisp. I feel like the number was like 180, 181 carry every single yep. time. Just felt incredible. Very, very good clubs. Yeah, I uh, I'm a huge fan on this look. I mean, lo I love the look of blades. Um, I got the. Apex, yeah. or the, the last generation Apex MB I'm kind of looking at here too. Um, top line, definitely kind of noticeable, just a little bit thinner top line, which is, you know, always very appealing yeah. to, a, to a player. And then a little bit, maybe a little more square versus rounded on, on, on the toe and slightly more compact look. So it's, it's a good looking golf club. Yeah. It, might, it might sneak into my bag <laughs> uh, next year here. So yeah, Thomas yeah. may have found himself an iron set here. <laughs> yep. So. But then again, um, combo set. You know, yeah, true. I did a combo set with with these uh, last year. So with with the X Forged and the Apex MB, I made the switch at seven iron. Yeah. Um, I would do it again. I absolutely yeah. would do it again with with, with both models. Yeah, and yeah. well, yeah, like you're saying, X Forged CB into the 2021 Apex MB. That's you know another combo set option that. Yep. Um, they do blend together pretty nicely, and of course, it might be a little bit of tweaking to do with the lofts, but um, you know, they blend together nicely. Biggest thing I, I noticed between the two of them is, is the offset. Um, so I'm looking at the offset between the X-Forge CB and then the Apex yeah. MB. 
I do notice a little bit more offset with the x Forge CB yeah. and, a, and then a slightly larger profile, slightly sure. larger top line, but yeah, both very, very good looking clubs. Um, I, I approve. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got the Thomas Campbell approval on these, these <laughs> irons here. So, yeah. well, let's give the data to you and then you can break it down a little bit further and we can find out a little bit more about these clubs. Sounds good. All right, Thomas, you've got the data. That was 10 shots with each iron model from Callaway. Uh, what are you finding from that data? So let's kind of work away kind of left to right on these numbers on the table. Um, club speed, I was almost swinging one mile an hour faster with the Apex MB than the okay. CB. Kind of interesting there, it was 0.9. Um, but more importantly to kind of look at is probably that smash factor number. Yeah. So I would expect the, C, the X Forge CB to have a little higher smash factor because there's a little bit uh, less loft on it. Yeah, okay. So 143 versus 1.40. That's kind of what I would have yeah. expected between the two of them. It's getting a little bit more ball speed with the X Forge CB um, with a little bit less club speed. Okay. So efficient, very, very efficient, very forgiving mm -hmm. golf club. Um, with the Apex MB, no, I was getting exceptionally good numbers. I mean, 1.40 with a seven iron blade is also very, yeah. very good. I was very happy with that. Um, and I was doing exactly kind of what I was hoping to do. It was a 180.7 carry. So 180 is my number. Right, so, you said 180 and that's, yep. there you go. I mean, you can't ask for much more than that. Yep, uh, and then two and a half yard difference between the X Forge CB and the Apex MB. So the X Forge CB was 183.2 carry. So. We talked about the one degree of loft. One degree so of loft. There yep. you go. That's about three yards. Yep, right about three yards. So great to see. And then the other thing, spin. So you'd also expect a little bit more spin out of a more high lofted golf club. It was 6450 versus 6250. So about 200 RPMs. Um, more spin with the Apex MB. Um, it's kind of exactly what I would yeah. also had expected for a degree of loft. Right. 200 RPMs. Yeah. Yep. I think you know the big takeaway right now. Callaway delivers in the feel. They deliver in the looks, and it, I guess at that point, if you're looking for a player's iron, it just depends on um, if you're looking for a blade, if you're looking for a sort of player's cavity, uh, because you know the blade will give you maybe that uh, extra level of feel, maybe not quite as forgiving, but maybe a tad more workability, whereas the, the cavity, the X-Forge CB, will add a tad more forgiveness, as we saw maybe with shot number nine on maybe both clubs. Yep. Uh, maybe not quite the workability, that or I guess control of your flight, but again, both were exceptional as you said, and um, they're going to be great options for for golfers in 2021. Yeah, I think you hit you, exactly shot number nine with both clubs. Level of forgiveness with the X Forge was maybe just a little bit higher mm -hmm. than the Apex MB. Apex MB was just five yards, six yards shorter mm -hmm. than the average, where the X Forge CB kind of stayed about the same distance. Yeah, and we're comparing kind of miss hits there too. Um, other numbers, launch angle was slightly higher with the Apex MB than the X Ford CB, 14.4 versus 13.8. I'd expect that was to do with loft there as well. Same thing, dynamic loft was also um, a little bit higher than the with the Apex MB. Yeah. X Ford CB was yeah, 0.7 difference to do with the loft presented yeah. at, at impact with each club there as well. Also what I'd expect. And then the height, both were about 91 to 93 feet in the, in the air. Um, now I'm hitting outside, hitting up the hill a little bit, so that's why I'm not quite seeing that 100 feet in the air yeah. uh, piece there, but very, very kind of accurate. Um, and then I always like to look at the kind of dispersion between the two of them here. There were seven really good swings with the uh, X-Forged CB. So yeah. I'm looking at these blue dots. You got seven that were very, very good. You can see that they were going just a little bit further overall. Yeah. Very, very close to the center line. We're talking at the most seven, six, six, seven yards left of center. Yeah. And then four yards right of center. So he had seven very, very good shots looking at. And then I had three that I left the face open a little bit to the right, so a little mm -hmm. bit shorter. Um, and then if you look at the uh, Apex MB, notice the dots are just kind of more around the, around the area. Yes, dispersion circle is a little smaller overall. But you can see how the dots are maybe just a little bit more kind of separate ar yeah. ar around there as well. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, if I was to delete three shots out with the uh, X Forge CB, the 
the three wires that I made, you'd, yeah, you'd see that there was a very, very tiny circle yeah. with regards to consistency there too. I think that's just kind of level of forgiveness being shown with that club. Yeah, yep. absolutely. We did see that for sure, the, the level of forgiveness there. And we do like, in past tests, we have maybe taken a shot or two out that were misheads and we would have seen that smaller circle there that you're mentioning. But for this case, we're just going to show all 10 shots here and then we can maybe show that forgiveness of the X-Force CB and how actually the Apex MB too is pretty forgiving because that one miss hit dropped only a five yards yeah. uh, in carry distance, which you're, I know you're going to accept that on the golf course. Well, you got to think on the golf course, yeah, I am going to have miss hits. Yeah. So those numbers are counted into my averages from how far I will probably yeah. hit my carry distance with each yeah, club. Sure. 180 to kind of 183 is mm -hmm. what we're seeing. Yeah, well, I think well, we got two winners. We got the seal of approval from Thomas Campbell uh, on these irons. So that's two winners from Callaway for 2021. The Apex MB X Forged CB. You can pre order these October 22nd, and then they'll be in our stores October 29th. So those are the dates to look forward to if you're interested in one of these two iron sets from Callaway. So, Thomas, thanks for hitting the shots today, breaking down the data, and providing all the information for us. Not a problem. I'm excited about these clubs.